Hi everyone, Silly here. In this video, I'm bringing you an insane Demon Hunter build for speed farming Greater Rift. Now, this is the Cold Cluster Arrow, which is pretty similar to the Fire Cluster Arrow, but it has a different twist. It is technically lower damage than the Fire, but the Arrow of Effect damage is just insane, so the clear speed is really good. So, what you see on the screen here is me doing 120s and doing them in about 2 to 2.5 minutes. Now, I do have pretty good gear and some decent Paragon. But even just starting out, when you have the base set of this gear, you can easily do GR 100s. And the scaling with this build is just insane. I predict by the end of the season, I can probably do up to almost GR 130. So playstyle wise, it is all about just getting your sentries down as quick as possible, and then vaulting around to find elites. You want to use your companion and your Venus old cooldown, and then use evasive fire every 4 to 5 seconds to proc wraps of clarity and focus restraint. Now what I typically do is I would just put down one sentry to find a decent amount of mobs, and then move on. And then while I am just moving, I'll just still be casting cluster arrow while stutter stepping, and then that will actually take care of that pack of enemies while I'm in a completely different place. And then once I find a lead pack, I'll put down three turrets and then just nuke it down with that. Now where does the damage come from from this build? Let's look at the rework my water set. So basically, if we look at the two set, companion calls all companions to your side. So you get all the pets, which is really massive for damage. Your force set makes it so your sentries also cast your cluster when you do and they also cast them automatically and then the six piece is just a massive 60,000 percent multiplier when you have all five centuries out that's also why it's very important that when you start the rift or you get into a new map you immediately try and place down as many turrets as possible to get the full effect of these 60,000 percent multiplier if you hate farming greater of keys like i do make sure to watch the video up here to find the fastest t16 build for demon hunters now another reason for this build being so strong is because of the soul shard i.e this season 25 theme so if we look at the weapon soul shard we have the essence of anguish and if we have it so every time you deal poison damage we gain a bunch of cooldown reduction and movement speed and we have chosen the one so when you deal poison damage to an enemy they receive 50 percent increased damage taken from all sources for 10 seconds now the trick with this gem is that you need poison damage so therefore we have rolled poison damage as our damage on our weapon otherwise we will not be able to proc this 50 percent damage increase and then besides that we have also taken one with extra cold damage so you really want to try and get something like this for the helmet you're using the sliver of terror so you gain damage reduction and increased damage taken per skill on cooldown and since we basically always have three skills on cooldown this is a massive damage increase and then also try and get dexterity on this so the soul shards are really good just overall for our damage now for the gear for the weapon we're using the yang's recurve and since we're playing cluster arrow the secondary does not matter at all which is really nice because then it's a lot easier to find a good yang's besides that you want percent damage you want poison damage of course and you want some cooldown reduction and you also want a decently high resource cost reduction roll minus only 41 try and get a bit higher now for the wings we're using focus and restraint Try and get something like attack speed crit crit or a damage roll crit crit but gloves you want dexterity attack speed crit crit you could also swap the attack speed out for more cooldown reduction it's up to you for the shoulders make sure you have dexterity area damage and center damage and the last that can either be cooldown reduction or resource cost reduction for the helmet dexterity crit cluster arrow for the chest dexterity vitality center damage now we are also playing with the captain crimson set so we gain additional damage and damage reduction from having this set and on the build and pants you want dexterity vitality and always on the pants you want dexterity vitality always and cluster arrow for the helmet we're using the scratch amulet there you want cold damage and crit crit we're also using wraps of clarity this is for a massive toughness increase so make sure you proc this by using evasive fire every four to five seconds and on this you want dexterity cold damage and crit chance now for the most difficult item in this build that will be your bombardier's rucksack on this you really need a high secondary and you also need a high sentry damage you might find that you're gonna have to use a non-ancient for a very long period of time but that's okay the stats are more important than it being ancient and then for the rest of the stats you want attack speed crit chance cooldown reduction and maybe resource cost reduction or area damage for the cube we're using manticore for reduced hatred cost of cluster arrow and 300 percent damage multiplier this is mandatory for armor slot sorry secret massive toughness increase and for jewelry slot Bring a red grinder to allow us to have two piece captain crimson five piece more water and, and still gain the full effect of both sets for the skills we're using evasive fire focus to proc focus restraint and rest of clarity as our main damage we are now using cluster arrow maelstrom using sentry polar station make sure you put this down on top of the elites 
so that you also proc your bins trapped with the slow effect. And you also want a companion, doesn't matter which one you pick because you get them all anyway. Using Vault Tumble to get around the map easier and to also hunt for elites. And Vengeance Star Card for a massive toughness increase. For the passive, technical advantage for movement speed. I'm playing with awareness because I'm playing hardcore. You could also swap to something like Call the Weak if you're softcore for more damage. We're also playing with custom engineering. And then ballistics, this is a bait damage increase. For the follower, I'm using Enchantress. Then you want to have a flavor of time and Nemesis Braces to really increase the effects of your pylons when the rifts. And then Oculus Ring with 85% is also pretty good. And you of course want to play with the focus on your Enchantress so you have all your spells unlocked. I really recommend playing this build because it is so powerful for speed farming greater rifts. If you like this guide, make sure to check out one of the two guides on the screen now, as they are some of the best built-in guides for Season 25. And I'll see you in one of those videos. Peace out, everybody.